Hi folks and welcome back to the Revelations Network. This is Brother Jesse and we're back again with another video. Today's video is titled, Alien Mona Lisa Lives Again. Now, I know some of you probably have heard this story about Alien Mona Lisa before and then some of you haven't. Um, it is a good, uh, it's good information and uh, I, I find it actually fascinating. Um, I'm getting this information from ViewZone.com. The story comes to us from a man who claims he was on a special NASA mission. William Rutledge is retired and now lives in Africa. He recently came out to reveal some amazing facts about his involvement with NASA in the late 70s. Rutledge claims to have worked on at least two missions to the moon, including the failed Apollo 19 and then the Apollo 20, which he says was launched in August of 1976 from Vanderburg Air Force Base. Both of these missions, according to Rutledge, were classified joint space missions resulting from collaborations between the United States and Soviet governments. They do not appear on any roster of NASA missions, and if this is true, for good reasons. The purpose of these missions was to investigate a large object on the far side of the moon in the Deporte Isaac region, allegedly discovered and photographed during the Apollo 15 mission. The object, which vaguely resembles an X-wing fighter as seen in the Star Wars films, was supposed to have been a very large alien spacecraft which had crashed or was otherwise abandoned on the moon in ancient times. Rutledge also claims that they, with Sylvia Cosmonaut Lexi Leonov, landed a lunar module, which was Russian-made, near the alien ship and actually entered the spaceship. Certain artifacts were discovered and recovered, including two alien bodies alleged to be the pilots. One was in excellent condition and appeared to be female. The second body was so deteriorated and, and hard to recover and just the head was retrieved. The female had been dubbed Mona Lisa. That's this uh, alien Mona Lisa we're talking about here. Now I'm quoting William Rutledge here. We went inside the big spaceship, also into a triangular one. The major parts of the exploration was it was a mothership, very old, who crossed the universe at least a million years ago. There were many signs of biology inside old remains of vegetation and a motor section, special triangular rocks who emitted tears of yellow liquid, which had some special medical properties. And of course, signs of extrasolar creatures. We found remains of little bodies living in a network of glass tubes all along the ship. But the major discovery was two bodies, one intact. Now, William Rutledge continues to talk, and now he's talking about uh, alien Mona Lisa. I don't remember who named the girl, but the alien was humanoid, female, about 1.65 meters, had six fingers, haired, we guess that mathematics are based on a dozen, function, pilot, piloting device fixed to fingers and eyes, no clothes. We had to cut two cables connected to the nose, no nostril. Leonov unfixed the eyes device. You'll see that in the video. Concretions of blood or bile liquid erupted and froze from the mouth, nose, eyes, and some parts of the body. Some parts of the body were in unusual good condition. Hair and skin was protected by a thin, transparent protection layer. As we told to Mission Control, condition seemed not dead, not alive. We couldn't figure out what. Now, one of the final comments made by Rutledge uh, was this one. She, uh, when he's talking about Alien Mona Lisa, she is on Earth and she is not dead, but I prefer to post other videos before telling what happened to her. 
there's really never been any other uh, information on that uh, about where the supposed alien Mona Lisa is today. Um, and uh, according to Rutledge, uh, he was making it sound like she was still alive. So what do I think about alien Mona Lisa? Well, first of all, I, I doubt alien Mona Lisa is an alien. Um, perhaps a demon maybe and uh, according to Rutledge um, she supposedly is still alive on earth somewhere well that's possible too he says that she the way he made it sound was like maybe she was in a state of suspended animation or something like that I don't know if that's true or not but he did make it sound like she was on earth um, Mr. Rutledge uh, when he leaked these videos he was in his late 70s uh, that was probably a while back. I, I'm suspecting if if Mr. Rutledge is still alive, and last I heard he was in Africa, but he had went deep undercover after re leaking these. His uh, YouTube account, which he leaked these on, was just you know basically destroyed, uh, and you know we were fortunate enough to get some of these videos. So, um, but the information that he leaked and stuff like that uh, may have very well cost him his life. Um, but anyway, I find the story very fascinating. Uh, and perhaps even uh, what you need to realize is that, you know, on the moon, there's a lot of things that are going on there all the time. Uh, you know that you're not told the truth about that, uh, but that's something you have to figure out for yourself or if you want to accept it. The, these videos that were leaked um, show uh, things going on in the uh, mid-70s. Um, and then also um, having to do with this alien uh, or fallen angel or whatever you want to call her. Um, I will choose to call her maybe perhaps a demon. Um, that would be my what I think um, because I don't really believe in aliens. I do believe in fallen angels. I do believe in demons. Um, so I would have to say that's probably what I would call her. Others may think she's an alien and you're welcome to think it as you like but I'm telling you there's so much hidden history you don't know about and the Smithsonian Institution has so much stuff that is kept hidden from the public locked away in their uh, museums and hidden rooms that you will never probably even get to see but there's so much hidden history that you're not even told about um, and then of course you have something like this that wasn't supposed to be leaked and the public's not supposed to know about it but now it is leaked and uh, basically a lot of people are going to look at this video and they're going to think what a joke uh, it wasn't true five years ago or ten years ago and it's not true now it's all in a to you, you know, and what you want to believe. Myself, I do believe that Mr. Rutledge was telling the truth, and I do believe that this video is authentic. You can believe whatever you want. It's up to you. Um, but whatever, I still find the whole subject very interesting. Um, I hope you're having a great day, and I hope uh, everyone out there is having a great day. I would like to take this time to invite you to, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, to please do so. And uh, I'd like to also wish you and your family to have a great day. And I'd like to take this time to say God bless you and your family. And we will be back again very soon with another video. God bless you and have a great day.